Beautiful. So this is going to be a two-parter. I've had a great deal of fun with my 348 Winchester. Uh, it's really grown on me. A lot of fun to shoot offhand, and the, the, the stock was designed by Townsend Whalen. And it's really very nice, and the more you use it, the more I appreciate it. And uh, mine is a 1955 model. And I finally got some Winchester brass coming. I've got uh, 175 rounds of brass coming because I've got 50, 70 rounds, 50, 70 rounds right now. And it's, uh, it's, uh, it's going to be nice to have all my brass. And I'll be looking at bullets. So I'm going to do some bullet testing this weekend. And uh, I want to talk to you about the bullets that are available. So I found that there's one, two, three, four, five, six, actually seven bullets that are regularly available. I've got uh, all of them but one here. And this is a very interesting one. This is the 200 grain FTX 348. I'm surprised they're making it because there's only, you know, very few tens of thousands of these rifles uh, made. So it can't be a super seller, but this FTX is a really interesting bullet. And uh, so I've read a really nice, uh, some really nice um, things online about uh, um, the ballistics of these of these bullets, including uh, basically the wound ballistics. And this is kind of what I'm interested in. So this bullet has got a flex tip which acts like a polymer tip really makes that into a great big hollow point so it opens up very very quickly and uh, then it's got a long shank with a medium thick jacket not a really thick jacket within the interlock design which is a little groove inner groove there that locks that core in so it gets fairly good weight uh, retention not bad penetration and really really good um, expansion characteristics so that's a very interesting bullet this 200 grain it also has the best ballistic coefficient of 320 and started at 2500 it stays past 1700 feet per second right up to 300 yards and why am I worried about the 1700 feet per second I find that's a really bottom end for, for bullets to open up really well. Well, this bullet will probably open up even lower. At 300 yards it has uh, 1,378 foot-pounds still. So, and that started at a sedate 2,500, which is pretty easy. The other bullet that opens up really quickly, and this is an old design, and I'm lucky to have found a box of these bullets, is the Winchester Silver Tip. And this was quite a famous bullet of yesteryear. And it has an aluminum cover, which is very soft, over a great big lead tip. So they open up very, very quickly. They're uh, well thought of in the old days. It has a fairly thick jacket at the base and a nice cantilever to lock things together. And I think these bullets will actually be fairly similar on, uh, on game. And instead of game, I'm going to be shooting at wet newsprint, just to see a little bit about these characteristics. So this bullet is still being loaded by Winchester in loaded form. You can't buy it as a component bullet anymore. The easiest bullet to get a hold of is the 200 Hornaday. And that's the 200 Hornaday. And again, it's got the interlock to hold it together, plus a cantilever that's a fairly deep cantilever and a flat nose. And it has a ballistic coefficient, which I think will be similar to the, uh, the other one here, of only 246. So it's going seven, these bullets I think are similar, would be going 1700, not to 300, but to 250 yards. So if I was going to make shots at 300 yards, which is hard with open sights, that's probably the bullet I would use. I would limit these to more like 250, which is in reasonable open sight range is probably about as far as you're going to shoot at stuff. And uh, the energy of these, instead of being 1378, like this one at 300 yards, is down to 1098. But the interesting thing is, sighted in at 175 yards, they only drop 2 inches more out to 300 yards. So the trajectory is actually more similar than you would think. 
probably the most interesting bullets, and these just came today, um, is the Swift A-Frame. And this Swift A-Frame is another 200 grain bullet. Um, they're listed as having the same ballistic coefficient uh, within 0 0.01 or 001 of this Hornaday. And this is an interesting bullet because it has a uh, much like a much like the Nosler partition, it has a solid partition. Um, it's also bonded at the front. Um, so that's a fantastically built bullet. I think it'll hold together very well. I think it should out-penetrate these others. It'll probably penetrate at least as well as the 220 grain Barnes, which is coming up next. And it'll have exactly the same um, trajectory as these other two bullets. These should be very, very close together. Very, very interesting. And you can see on the case there, there's the A-frame. And it's also bonded. So these are in Canada $2 each. So it's not a cheap choice, but it's a very interesting choice. So I'll test those this weekend. Also up will be turning into one of my favorite bullets. A little heavier by 10% is the 220 grain Barnes Original. These original bullets I have a lot of experience with, um, both in testing and on game. I like the Barnes Original. They are pure copper jacket, pure lead core. They're soft, uh, so they don't break. They don't, they're not brittle. They don't shatter on stuff. They tend to open up to about double diameters. Uh, push too fast, they will core separate almost every time. Uh, only the cantilever is holding them in and the fact that they're both soft um, but they really can expand quite greatly. Now I'm thinking a nice sedate velocity for these is 2500. A nice sedate safe velocity for the 220's is to, uh, I've got it down at uh, what am I pushing those at? 2375 feet per second. Probably push them to 24. Um, and they keep on to their 1700, not quite to 250 yards, probably about 225 yards. Um, oh, sorry, this one. But because of that great big pure lead, big chunk of material at the, at the nose, it might ex actually expand down a little lower than some of these, maybe than these two bullets. So it still might be good to 250 yards. Uh, and you're losing 15.5, 16.5, about another 3 inches over these bullets, uh, sighted in at 175. So you're starting to get a little bit of trajectory effect with the 220 because your velocity is a bit less to start with. They say that the ballistic coefficient is 0 0.301 or something like that for this bullet. I don't believe it. I figured it at 0.280. I think they're being optimistic because you look at the form factor, I can't see how that would be that good. So that's my 220 grain. You can also get a 250 grain in that bullet, but for 250 grains, I found an Australian bullet that is better than the Barnes in almost every way. Oh, this is a new, this is a new box. Is this a new box? No. And that's a 250 grainer. And this is the weight of bullet that Elmer Keith really wanted to have in the uh, 348, and they finally brought out a silver tip in this weight. And the silver tip was a really well-renowned bullet. This is a better bullet than the silver tip ever thought of being. It's uh, a very well-built bullet, and it's bonded. And I've tested these already on all sorts of stuff. They just will not come apart. Uh, however, there is a there is a cost to going with heavy bullet weight, and this pushed at 2250, which is about as fast as I like to push them. Um, Gives me 2,800 foot-pounds at the muzzle, so you can use that bullet for bison. So it's kind of a minimal bison bullet, but actually it's a pretty good bison bullet. And it holds on to 1,700 only to 200 yards. So I wouldn't use this past 200 yards, but 200 yards is an awful long way with open sights. And uh, at 200 yards, it's only dropping minus 4.5. By 250 yards, this is down to 1,593, which is going to make expansion a little bit iffy. Uh, so keeping it up to 17, 1800, you're probably best keeping your shots at 200 yards or less. 
250 yards, probably 300 yards for, for expansion. So that's based on the, the testing I've done so far of these bullets, but I'm going to give them a really good test this weekend, and you can see how close I am to, uh, to reality on that newsprint. So that's been a lot of fun, this 348, and these are some of the little tools that you can use, these little bullets. The bullet rifle is pretty much useless, and I'm very interested in how these uh, expanded bullets are going to work, especially interested in these two, even though these are the most expensive you can buy, these two here. That's the 200 Swift, that's the 250 Woodley. The 250 Swift has the speed, which should give uh, faster upset, quicker kills on smaller stuff. If it also penetrates well, in coming up to the, coming up or near this 250 Woodley, this bullet might be the keeper. And I don't know how accurate they are, I haven't shot them at all yet. So the, this is the uh, this this is the side by side that I'm really interested in. For deer, any of these bullets are really good. Um, I kind of favor this FTX just because it's uh, got such a great uh, 50 yard range advantage because it keeps the speed up for sure expansion. And for all round use, up to moose, this 220 grain. Hard to beat. Penetrates fairly well, expands well, but I think these two bullets will have it beat. So stay tuned this weekend, unless work takes over my life, we'll give these a go. Thanks for watching.